Tehran is known for its great monuments and symbolic landmarks like the Azadi and the Mila Tower. Now, only recently, another masterpiece has been added to that list. This monument has won national and international awards. So if you do happen to be in Tehran, make sure to check it out. But now, let's see what Gisu has prepared for us. Bridges have always been close to the heart of Iranians. That's why it's not surprising to know that the third icon of Tehran is actually a bridge. This massive steel structure held by only three tree-like columns can take anyone's breath away. A place where people can actually hang out rather than just cross over it, since it was completed less than a year ago, Pule Tabi'at, which literally means nature bridge, has had hundreds if not thousands of people visiting it. Jag har inte varit i Tehran för nästan tio år. Tehran har blivit mycket finare och större. Och en av finaste platser som drar till sig mycket uppmärksamhet är den här bron som heter Naturens bron. The 270 meter footbridge is designed in three levels. There's a restaurant on the first level. The second level is mainly for those who are crossing it, either walking, biking, or skating. And the third level is designed for people to hang out and enjoy the view. Quite ironically, the longest pedestrian bridge in Iran also looks on to one of the busiest highways in Tehran, but it also allows you to catch a glimpse of the beautiful parks surrounding it. The bridge is curved. This gives visitors different outlooks depending on where they're standing, according to its young designer, Leila Aragian. So when you're walking on it, you don't really see where you're heading, adding a zest of mystery to your journey. Er hat mir erzählt, die Brücke wurde von einer 25-jährigen Architektin gebaut. Ich kann es einfach nicht glauben. Und sie verbindet diese beiden wunderschönen Parks. Ich bin ganz begeistert. Ich bin, ganz, ich bin sowieso vom Iran begeistert, aber Teheran und diese Brücke, das ist wirklich ein, ein absolutes Highlight. Och sen finns det typ blommor också. Det finns små lampor, det finns svarta och gula galder där. Det finns en bro som är superbra och den bron är typ går till leda till en annan park. Vår vän sa att den här bron är väldigt känd i Tehran. Det är en tydlig bildning av Tehran. Det är många... Pulu Tabiat is a very complex structure. No need to say that with columns that resemble trees and an unsymmetrical curved body, the bridge obviously required complicated engineering calculations. It's no wonder that it has won five awards so far, including the prestigious a award, which brought it international recognition. It may seem like a very peculiar design. The bridge consists of 3,680 steel profiles weighing 2,000 tons. During the three-year construction period, installing the 2,000 tons of steel 40 meters above one of Tehran's busiest highways was the most challenging task engineers had to face, ensuring the safety of the workers and preventing construction materials from hitting the cars below. Altogether, 14,000 steel parts were welded together. به معماری ایرانی اسلامی است. در ایده همکاران بنده در شهرداری تهران به این صورت شک گرفت و پایگذاری شد که علاوه بر عملکرد عبور و مرور 
خود این پل باید تبدیل بشود به یک انصر نمادین در معماری و سازه در داخل کشور As it has always been the case in Iranian architecture, this bridge too is not just linking two parks on the two sides of the highway. It's connecting the people by providing a place for them to linger for a while and enjoy beautiful views. Well, in Tehran, pedestrians are happy, and they will be even more delighted when the project is complete. Isumi Shahmadi for Iran.